Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today to do a breakdown talking about different Rockwell razors on the market. Let's get started. All right, we are all lathered up with my go-to, the Parasso White for Sensitive Skin. You know, I love using this uh, because it kind of holds my variables constant. So we got that lathered up. We used a uh, Simpsons Berkeley Badger Brush, soon becoming one of my favorites. I'm really liking the, the Simpsons brushes. For so many years, I, I uh, thought, oh, they can't be that great. They are. They're very nice. And we are going to get loaded up. Uh, we have three different Rockwell razors to talk about today. Um, and we're going to be using the Permasharp blades in all three. Usually my go-to is Paul Silver, but there's been a, a kind of a shortage recently of Paul Silver blades, and we're having a hard time getting them. Uh, we picked up the Permasharp. Very big fan already. I did a couple of shaves at home. And I, I think it's actually very similar to Paul Silver um, and very good quality. In fact, I, I wouldn't doubt if it's made in the same factory in Russia. It is a Procter & Gamble brand. Okay, so the three different Rockwell razors, um, it's really two with a third with an asterisk. We're going to be talking about the baseline model, which is the 6C. And we're also going to be talking about the... 6S, and then lastly, we're going to be talking about the Rhodium 6S, something exclusive to Razor Emporium. So we'll start with the baseline. Um, the 6C is Rockwell's base adjustable razor system, as I like to call it. I wouldn't call it adjustable uh, razor in the same category as, let's say, the Mercur Progress or Parker Variant or Rex Ambassador. Uh, just because you cannot adjust it on the fly. It does require different plates. But that is the system of Rockwell, and that's great. I'm not dissing it. I, I very much think it's a, a, a brilliant idea. In fact, they have a patent on it. Um, it allows you to look at the number here. So it's R1 on this side, it's R3, uh, and the other plates that come with it, you know, R2, R4. And basically, they're going to be different blade gaps. And so we're going to start by just from the base up. And I want to make sure I'm doing this right. I believe you're supposed to be able to see the blade number. Let's look at the instructions. All right, so plate A, plate B. The number you see on the underside of your assembled razor is the size you are shaving with. Okay, so I'm glad I clarified that. So if I want to start with number one, I'm going to make sure that number one is showing to me as I assemble it and I can see it. So we're going to start with the base. I just want to work my way up. I don't know exactly where I fall uh, in the Rockwell aggressiveness scale. So we'll start with the bottom. Very mild. Feels like a below a tech even. In fact, it's not re removing a lot of stubble for me. So I'm going to immediately change it. And that's, that's my um, policy with any adjustments or any kind of... Um, uh, experimentation I just do one or two strokes if I if it's not working I don't need to go through an entire shave to figure out it's not working I know it's not working so two a little bit better for sure I can actually now feel uh, some grain being reduced my stubble being reduced I'm also just gonna take this opportunity and swap it though why not so now we're gonna go up to three And I have used a Rockwell in the past. It's been several months. I think I did like three or four. Not bad. I'm going to keep on going. We're going to take this to 11. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a, that's a bad Spinal Tap reference. Uh, it only goes to six, one through six. 
So I'm going to go now up to four and see how I like that. Not bad. I think I can keep on going. I'm just moving my way up these numbers. Let's try out the aggressive plates. Let's try out the five and six. Um, so the, the interesting thing with the, the 6C is it is it is a budget razor at $50. I think it's an awesome deal. Um, and it looks pretty nice. Made in China. But man, those Chinese can make some great stuff. A um, lot of high quality stuff coming out. I think really the secret to manufacturing in the modern era is not where it's made necessarily. It's a quality control process. Yeah, I think I like the five. I'm going to stick with the five. I'm being told by our producer I need to try the six. So let's let's go. Let's try it. Got to always go to the max and then back it off a little bit. We're going to try number six, baby. I actually like that. Okay, so I'm I'm at full bore. I I'm I'm all the way up on Rockwell's system here. So the idea is you can flip the base plates, and they're providing a different blade gap, um, and I think it's a very ingenious system. I'm I'm actually quite amazed that to the best of my knowledge, and obviously they're patent attorneys. There wasn't a history of this before. I do know that there was a history of some vintage razors that had open comb on one side and um, closed, you know, solid guard or closed comb on the other side. But the actual flipping thing is really the, the patentable technology that they have. Now, that being said, I did hear that there was a, another off-brand competitor of Rockwell that ended up kind of putting out something similar, but it could do four different exposures with one plate alone. So it'd be, you know, A, B, flip over, C, D. Whereas this is just A and, you know, A and flip it over B. So they got around it. But that also kind of takes away the whole double edge. One, to me, one really nice thing about double edge razors is the fact that you can use two sides. So this is the 6C, made of zinc alloy, uh, it's cast, chrome plated, um, and it is put up for sale for $50 with the three different plates. I think it's an awesome adjustable system. We're going to take the same blade. Now that I know I like five and six, I'm going to flip over now to the 6S, and the S stands for stainless steel. It also comes in a little bit more of a handsome packaging um, case, pack of blades, kind of more deluxe look to it. And it has more of a satin kind of finish. Looks like a bead blasted, tumbled kind of matte finish. So the benefit of this is it's made of stainless steel. And I can immediately tell that it does weigh a little bit more. It's not, it's not dramatically more but it definitely each component I can feel has a little bit more weight to it. I'm imagining they're the same exposures. That'd be weird because if you liked you know the the five on the zinc you'd imagine it'd be the same as on here. Let's find out. Wow I'm actually noticing quite a lot of difference. This is not gliding um, the same way that the the chrome plated one is. It actually kind of feels like it's dragging a little bit. Just to make sure that we are holding a good variable uh, here, good constant variable, we're going to just kind of 
re-moisturize this lather because I have been sitting here talking and blabbing and switching out base blades and razors so I want to make sure that as I finish the lower part of my neck it is as good as it can be. So I'm still on five. Yeah, it's not just the lather, it's the razor. Um, it doesn't surprise me. You have, a, you have two different finishes here, and I, I, I think at Razor Emporium I can at least speak to finishes uh, since we do so much refinishing work here. You know, you have a smooth, polished finish, uh, this edge, and this is a media blasted edge, and they're going to have different resistance factors. Um, if you zoomed in on a media blasted finish, it's going to look like a golf ball. It's going to have a lot of little divots where the glass bead or whatever you know, product they're using has hit the surface and has created a little miniature divot. Whereas a polished surface is smooth and usually fairly uniform, more of like a ripple sometimes. But I think it's a nice quality razor. Uh, we actually offer a service that changes the success into more of a premium finished razor. Uh, let me get this blade off. I'm actually having a little trouble getting this blade, there we go, off the cap. So, we offer um, this rhodium plated razor. So we take the 6S in this matte form, sand, you know, media blasted form, and we actually do the polishing here in house and then we plate it uh, in a precious metal like rhodium. I think we also offer 24 karat gold. But this is an interesting service because it kind of will have the benefit of being stainless steel. So the durability and the, you know, the kind of the superior material of stainless steel, but then the, the nice finishing um, that you would expect on a kind of a higher end razor. And there's obviously a, a charge for that. Um, so it is an upcharge to have that done, but let's try it out. I think it's gonna provide a Best of both worlds, the stainless steel, but the premium finish. And this is number one, I didn't even, wasn't even paying attention, I needed to go back to number five or six. There we go. And this is one thing, again, if you call this an adjustable razor, I think that's a misnomer, I would call it an adjustable razor system. It's a system razor. Much nicer. I'm on that same number five, uh, which for my neck, I always dialed down for my neck compared to my cheeks. So I was liking six on my cheeks, my neck, more sensitive. Five feels great. And the rhodium finish that we put on is, is very durable, should last for a long time. And definitely gives it more of a high-end look. Um, rhodium is a precious metal Sometimes even, you know, more expensive than gold. Just depends on how it's trading. It's a precious metal commodity. But it's very hard on the Rockwell, Rockwell hardness scale. Ironic, Rockwell. Um, and it's non-tarnishing, meaning it doesn't react with oxygen. So that, that bright white look that you see on it should be there forever. The best way to clean rhodium, whether it's on a Rockwell razor or a Gillette, vintage Gillette razor we've done, um, is with a soft toothbrush and dish detergent. Uh, it doesn't need to be polished necessarily. It just needs to be cleaned of the soap scum that is usually built up on the surface. But yeah, uh, this, is, this has been kind of an interesting eye-opening shave. I was surprised at the media blasted finish. I didn't think it was going to provide a huge difference and I really did feel a uh, significant difference. So if you look at the finishes, again, we'll go to the 6C, the zinc chrome plated razor. Chrome's gonna have more of this bluish hue to it and that's across the board. If you see any Mercur razor, Edwin Jagger, kind of has a blue tint to it. Whereas rhodium has that white kind of real brilliant look to it. So that's the easiest way to tell rhodium apart from chrome. Um, and chrome's a great finish too. Uh, I'm not dissing it. The, the one issue I usually have with chrome is it's so hard that it can blister. 
and so over time you can end up with blistering and the finish can crack um, and it makes it makes it really hard to actually refinish parts that are chrome um, especially chrome over zinc so zinc is so uh, susceptible to damage in the replating process and chrome is so hard so you kind of are working to get through this hard layer and you get down to the zinc and it's so soft so it's kind of you gotta be really careful um, but finished up overall pretty happy uh, I think it's a great razor system the Rockwell I think if you're starting off and you don't know where you know your face and your beard type live I think you'd be pretty happy with a system like this um, my one thing I really like is the price and you know the general look and feel it feel, feels great the one thing I don't like is that it's a system meaning after you find this base plate that you like I don't really know if you're gonna have a lot of use for the other plates I don't know if you'll find yourself will say well I, I love five but I still need to use two for some reason maybe maybe if you have different lengths of stubble or you're sharing the razor with somebody maybe you want to have these different plates but I think if you found the one you like you're gonna stick with it so the other plates end up going in storage um, if you own the Rockwell and you have a point or a, a purpose of having these other plates around and you think I'm wrong, please tell me. I love to be uh, told I'm wrong and, and, and someone give me the information of why and I'll change my opinion. Uh, I think it's a, a awesome way to find the, the shave that you're looking for. Um, I think it's a good value and I'm happy to use it. It feels really good. Uh, so that's all we have today at Razor Emporium. Please leave a comment below and if you do, you're going to be entered into a drawing to win this, a official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt, the one I usually always wear here on camera. We'd like to have you guys feature one of these at home in your own shave den. Uh, like our video today, please. Share it with your buddies. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification so you know every time we put out a new video for you our valued customer and we'll see you next time at Razor Point for all things vintage shaving.